Good morning, students. Now here we are going to start the new new, new topic, working capital. Then, first of all, working capital. Which points we are also considered in this unit? First one is the meaning. Necessary. That means the necessity of the working capital, estimation of working capital requirement, and fund flow statement. All these points we are also considered in this particular unit. First of all, what is meant by the working capital? That means maintaining adequate working capital is not just important in the short term, but in the long term as well. Whenever you have been taken the example, working capital. That means there are two types of the capital. First one is our fixed capital. That means such particular capital is required for the purchase of purchase of fixed assets. Assets. And second one is our working capital. Working capital. It is required for the purpose of to meet to meet day to day to meet day to day businesses operations businesses operations then first of all we are also understand the capital. In simple word, the amount invested into the business it is called as the capital. That means into the businesses or manufacturing concern. There are two types of the capital is required. First one is our fixed capital. Such types of capital is required for the purchase of the fixed asset, like as for example uh, purchase of the machinery, for example purchase of land and building, and uh, other type of the fixed asset. Then Working capital, it is also required to meet day-to-day -day business operation. Now you have been taken the example. Whenever a manufacturing concern, manufacturing industry, the Kontahi manufacturing industry mode, they require a number of transactions, number of day-to-day uh, -day business operations. Like as for you have been taken the example, raw material is required, raw material process hotel, that means working process, then purchase of raw material, then this raw material is uh, uh, in process, that is called uh, the work in process, and after that, the process is complete. The finished uh, product or goods become the manufacturer. The, in this process, it requires the labor. Labor is required for the manufacturing industry. Then also the raw material is required for the manufacturing industry. Then other expenses, the expenses, day-to-day -day business expenses, sometimes lights are also required, sometimes the other related materials are also required, sometimes other expenses are also required for the manufacturing concerns to produce the finished goods or final product. Then after that, for that particular activity, that means the manufacturing industry into the manufacturing industry, they requires the raw material for the purpose of the raw material is converted into the finished goods. The raw material Java is at the industry madhe or company madhe the. That means that's a final product madhe upantar hone sati. That's how we will have to achieve prakriya karan lagte hain. For example, upon sugar industry se example kiya sugar industry madhe sugar cane it is the raw material of the particular sugar industry. Then after that, that particular sugar cane, which is the work in process, 
त्याच्यापासून रस तयार होतो तो रस तयार झाल्यानंतर त्याच्यापासून फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट शुगर हे तयार होत असते मग त्या प्रोसेसमध्ये जे वेगवेगळे डेली एक्सपेन्सेस आहेत उदाहरणार्थ लाईट असेल पावर असेल लेबर लागतील मग लेबर चालला पगार असेल मग फॉर दॅट पर्टिक्युलर डे टू डे बिझनेसेस ऑपरेशन इट रिक्वायर्स द कॅपिटल इट रिक्वायर्स द कॅश देन आफ्टर दॅट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ऑल्सो कन्सिडर the working capital it not just important in the short term but also into the long term as well now here the working capital it is also called as the life blood of businesses life blood of businesses Why should the working capital is called as the life blood of businesses? Now you have been taken the example. Without blood, the man or human cannot be survive. मुझे मनुष्य जैसे शरीर में दे जा प्रमाणन blood ला मत बाय. That's for the thing of working capital ला a business point of view चा दुष्टी कौन आतुन दे मत बाय. The whenever you have been taken the example, machinery is there. But that is only machinery. As a company, with the machinery, a building, a that's what you have. So equipment is there. But company, the raw material, the raw material, is not there. There is no adequate cash for the purchase of the raw material, and therefore, it is difficult to that particular company to produce or manufacture such particular product. And therefore. पण त्या दृष्टिकोनातून जर आपण विचार केला तर कंपनीकडे मोठी बिल्डिंग असेल त्याचबरोबर इक्विपमेंट असतील फर्निचर असेल परंतु कंपनीकडे रॉ मटेरियल खरेदी करण्यासाठी पैसेच नसतील तर कंपनीचं मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग होणार नाही कंपनीचं मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग न झाल्यामुळं त्यांना त्यांचं प्रोडक्ट मार्केटमध्ये विकता येणार नाही आणि विकता न आल्यामुळं साहजिकच ती कंपनी असेल त्या कंपनीचं प्रॉफिट असेल मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग होऊ शकणार नाही आणि त्या कारणामुळं वर्किंग कॅपिटल इज रिक्वायर्ड for each and every manufacturing industry as well as our trading concerns that means the working capital is called as the life blood of businesses now here the working capital now from the point of view of that particular capital that means the amount invested into the businesses it is called as the capital we are also studying the 11 standards as well as the 10 standards or from the different point of view from the businesses point of view the financial management that is called as the financial management are also most important part of each and every business as well as into manufacturing industry now we are also taken the some examples of here when business make investment decision they must not only consider the financial outlay involved into the acquiring the new machine or the new building etc but must also take the account of the additional current assets that are usually required with any expansion of activity that means the businesses financial outlay that means the financial outlay of any businesses that means not only the acquiring of the new machines new buildings but also they are also focus on the additional current assets they require the additional current assets for the purpose of the expansion of their businesses activity now you have been taken the example uh, increase in production it leads to holding of additional stock of raw materials and working process that means whenever at that time the management of the company decides to increase in production it leads to holding the additional stock of material mhanje javes ekhadya company la tancha production vadvaycha asel tar sajikats tanna tya tikane additional stock of raw material lage tas barobar tya additional stock of raw material var process karavi lage and increase say usually it means that the level of debtors will be increase je whenever generally you know very well into the market whenever the products are also sold into the market the company's credit policies are also most important 
whenever at that time you are also sold your product into the market to some extent the credits are also given to the particular customers are also most important and usually it means that the level of debtors will increase because why because of we are also given credit to the particular customer the customers are also purchasing our company's product and that leads to the level of debtors will increase then a general increase in the fund scale of operations tends to imply a need for the greater level of working capital now here we are also analyze the working capital management now here we are also discuss about what is mean by the working capital why they are so important and what are the reasons behind that the working capital is uh, necessary for each and every businesses organizations then after that you are also understand the meaning of the working capital into the accounting term working capital is the difference between the current assets and current liabilities it is called as the working capital now this is the meaning from the point of view of the accounting it is nothing but a total of current assets minus total of current liabilities then a difference it is called as the working capital now working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities now here the most important point what is the current assets the current assets of an entity for the purpose of working capital management can be grouped into the following main heads from the point of view of the working capital management the current assets are also grouped into first one is our inventories second one is our receivables third one is our cash or cash equivalents and fourth one is our prepaid expenses now inventory inventory are also classified into the three categories first one is our raw material raw material that means the you have been taken the example of the sugarcane industry sugarcane industry is an example given that there is a raw material kind of the sugar industry is an example given the sugarcane it is the raw material of the sugar industry that's what the thing like the edible oil is the edible oil chi company is the raw material kind of that the soybean is the thing so raw material is all and final आउटपुट कि जैसे अपन फिनिश द गुड्स मन तो एडिबल ऑइल पे जे का इन्वेन्ट्रीज आती है इन्वेन्ट्रीज क्लासिफिकेशन रॉ मटेरियल वर्किंग प्रोसेस एंड फिनिश द गुड्स देन रिसीवेबल्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ द रिसीवेबल्स ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स एज वेल एज द बिल्स रिसीवेबल्स कैश एंड कैश इक्वेलेंस दैट मीन द शॉर्ट टर्म मार्केटेबल सिक्युरिटीज शॉर्ट टर्म दैट मीन्स नॉट मोर दैन वन इयर इत कैश कैश मीन्स कैश इन हैंड cash also includes bank balance and cash equivalents it is nothing but a short term marketable securities which are also converted into the cash within a one year not more than the one year and prepaid expenses all these are also taken taken into the current assets from the point of view of the working capital the working capital cha apan jar vichar kela tar yacha madhe acha working capital madhe apla current assets eti current assets minus current liability is equal to working capital this is the formula for the calculation of the working capital then after that other on the other hands current liabilities of an entity for the purpose of working capital management are grouped into payables that means the trade pay payables and bills payables not the receivables bills payable this is the wrong word not the bills payable not the bills receivable it is also the bills payable then which not a receivable it is also the bills payable and after that the outstanding payments like as the wages and salaries etc and after that we are also analyze the types of working capital that means on the basis of value and on the basis of time the working capital also classified into the 
gross working capital and net working capital. On the basis of time, the permanent working capital and fluctuating working capital. Then after that, we will also discuss in detail from the point of view of value, working capital defined as the gross working capital or net working capital. That means the gross working capital refers to the firm's investment in current assets. That means total of current assets, it is called as the gross working capital. That means you have been obtaining or getting the total of current assets, it is treated as the gross working capital. When the total of current assets is total, when the current assets is total, we have to cross working capital on the basis of value and net working capital refers to the it is refers to the difference between the current assets and current liabilities. That means the total of current assets minus total of current liability then such working capital it is called as the net working capital. The total of current assets modon, total of current liability minus kelanantar energy ka amount the sale chala pan net working capital modon shakto then positive working capital that means a working capital indicates the company's ability to pay its short term liabilities the sufficient then jaka nai teka nai ka hai the company che ability ability mo teka hai kshamta ka hai to pay its short term liabilities कंपनी चल जाएगा एक करंट लैबिलिटी दस्ती तक करंट लैबिलिटी देने चीज़ तक कंपनी की क्षमता से तर इट इस अलसो कॉलर एज पॉजिटिव वर्किंग कैपिटल ऑन द अदर हैंड नेगेटिव वर्किंग कैपिटल शोज इनएबिलिटी ऑफ एन एंटाइटी टू मीट इट्स शॉर्ट टर्म लैबिलिटीज द कंपनी इस शॉर्ट टर्म लैबिलिटी देवुशन the permanent and fluctuating that is called as the temporary working capital. The permanent working capital it refers to the uh, base working capital. That means the companies are also decided their minimum level of the investment into the current assets that is carried by the entity at all times to carry its day-to-day -day activities. That means it is also the company or entity are also estimated their total of current assets that means the investment into their current assets uh, all times to carry its day to day activities then temporary working capital it refers to that the part of the working capital which is required by an entity in addition to the permanent working capital that means in addition to the permanent working capital it also called as the variable working capital which is used to finance the short term working capital requirements which arises due to the fluctuation in sales value. That means uh, this working capital is required, is needed. At that time, you have, you have been taken the example, sometimes the demand for that particular product is increasing in one month. And particular months, the demand for working capital, it may be a minimum. At that time, a such fluctuation into the sales, it requires uh, the fluctuations into the working capital. मुझे जावे इस जगह सेल्स मुझे जगह बदल हो तो स्टोप कंट्रीब्यूशंस में जगह बदल सेल्स में देखो हमारे बदल स्थिति तब बदला हुआ साझी कर जे रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ वर्किंग कैपिटल से त्यागी का चेंज हो सकता अंते चारों साल जगह वर्किंग कैपिटल कैलकुलेट के लिए तो इतनी तो सुपाल रहेस अ टेम्पररी वर्किंग कैपिटल the operating cycle of an businesses. Now, after that, we are also understand the determinants of the working capital. Then, first of all, the following factors need to be considered while planning for the working capital requirements. The first one is the cash. Identify the cash balance, which allows for the businesses to meet day-to-day -day expenses, but reduces cash holding cost. Now. These are the some determinants of working capital. The working capital requirements is depends upon that particular uh, factors. First one is our cash, second one is our inventory, third one is our receivables, short term financing options, nature of business, market and demand conditions, technology and manufacturing policies, of operating efficiency, price level changes, then 
these are the some important points are also decides our working capital requirement then these lectures will be to be continued that means all these points are also to be continued after some